America celebrated Navy Day with a successful big-scale raid on Japanese-held Wake Island. Navy Day in peacetime used to be just a procession of strength at sea. In wartime, it's an occasion to use it. Japanese planes come out to ward off the attack with the tracer tears holes in them and they crash. Down below, an American naval task force is moving in. Overhead, dive bombers go into action. came back with smoke falling out of one engine, but the pilot landed safely. This is one action which helped to inform the Japanese that the war didn't end in Pearl Harbor. Now Admiral Chester Nimitz, Commander-in-Chief of the American Pacific Fleet, gives orders for fresh onslaughts. Rabaul, Burma, Marshall and Gilbert Islands. Growing Allied power in Far Eastern waters is taking its toll. jungle headquarters post in the Solomon Isles, Admiral Halsey combines fleet and air power in a new attack on the Southwest Pacific. For many months the Japanese have been on the defensive in this area, falling back with heavy losses all the time. Further pictures from Bougainville. Another chapter of the story of the successful amphibious operation in this part of the Solomons. Jungle fighters in jungle camouflage, American and Australian, making good headway in the long, rough road to Tokyo.